Are you ready for a little bit of spice in your life? I hope you are because today we are making piri piri shrimp and rice. because this is gonna be a bit of a new dish for me because my friends over at Four Fathers Food Co. sent me some sauces and this is my first time using their Piri Piri sauce. Let's go through the ingredient list that I have so far before we get started because I want you to make this dish at home and I want you to order some of this sauce. I guess I should try it first though, right? Okay. I don't have any spices or any kind of seasonings on the table right now because I'm just new to this sauce and I'm not sure what it's gonna taste like. So, why don't we give it a try and then I can actually go through the ingredient list to see if we need anything else to add to the flavor of the Piri Piri shrimp and rice that we are gonna make today. First, I need to open the bottle. <laughs> I probably could have done this off camera, but you know, the silly kitchen. Oh, it smells amazing. It has a little bit of like a tomato-y flavor. You can smell a little bit of the spice. Now on their heat meter, it has three flames out of five. I like heat, I like flavor, so I'm excited about this. There's some ingredients on here, onion, red pepper, some lemon juice, some chilies. Sounds like my kind of jam. All right, so. How much of this should I try? Three fiery flames out of five. Oh yeah. <laughs> the heat hits you right after. Okay. That is a flavor bomb of deliciousness. Oh my gosh, this is good. Guys, good job. Okay, we can go through the ingredients list because I know exactly what we need now. Okay, so now that I know that this bottle of Piri Piri sauce is so full of flavor and has that wicked awesome heat profile to it, I'm not adding any other herbs or spices to this dish other than what I was thinking I would prepare for this. Whew. Okay, just eating it on its own. I have a little bit of, I got a little bit of heat going on here. Let's go through the ingredient list real quick and then we'll get right to cooking. I have some black eyed peas. I have a can of corn. I have a little bit of red pepper. I have separated the top of the green onion and the bottom of the green onion into some chops there as well because you wanna cook the bottoms and then you wanna garnish with the tops. I also have probably about a dozen, maybe 15 shrimp. I have two cups of brown rice, four cups of vegetable stock and Based on the delicious flavor of the sauce, I think that is all the flavor we're gonna need for seasoning our rice and shrimp dish. Let's go. I know y'all know how to cook rice, so get your brown rice in the pan to start. I like using vegetable stock or chicken stock to cook my rice. You can use water as well. So let's just start with that. Looking like it's Pretty cooked, but not all the way. Rice takes a little bit more time than that, but I don't want it to be fully cooked when I start building my flavors. So this looks to me like a happy place. There's still lots of liquid, but the rice isn't fully cooked. I am going to add my can of corn, and I did not drain the juice out of the can. I want that sweet liquid in there. I'm also going to use the bottoms of my green onion and my red peppers. They are all going in right now, giving it a bit of a stir. Looking good. And I'm gonna cover this up again to keep that rice cooking, but with all of the flavors that I just added in. Another eight to 10 minutes has passed. So we're gonna give this a little stir, make sure that all the moisture and flavors of those items are in. And here comes the Piri Piri. Now, I'm gonna go like this, and I think that is 
a lot. I'm not sure, but we can always taste test as we go. And like I said, this sauce has so much flavor. I don't know that I need much more than that, but we will see as we go. I will also be adding in my beans at this point and then letting these flavors all come together for another three or four minutes here. Now I love my greens and I love my vegetables, so I am going to fold in quite a bit of spinach now. I want this to kind of wilt and get nice and soft into my rice dish, and then we will finish it off. For the final part of this, at the very end of cooking, I already have fully cooked shrimp that I've just taken the tails off of. So I'm gonna stick these babies right into the rice because all we're really doing is getting these shrimp nice and hot for serving. There is so much flavor in the rice. There's so much going on in this dish already just from that beautiful piri piri sauce that I just want these shrimp to get nice and hot, soak in a little bit of that flavor, and then we're ready to eat. Remember how I said keep the tops of the onions to garnish and finish this off, just a little bit of green onions on top and your piri piri shrimp and rice dish is ready to eat. This piri piri shrimp and rice dish turned out I think a little better than I thought it would. I am really impressed with the flavors in that sauce. I did not need to add any other herbs or spices. This dish is that's what I'm gonna say. I'm really good with words, so I'm just gonna go. Thank you so much for tuning in to an episode of The Silly Kitchen. Check out the Forefathers Food Co. if you are interested in some great flavor sauces, and come back and see me again soon. Till then. <laughs>